Welcome back to another GTN unboxing. And today we have got wheels, but not just any old wheels, because these are Envy wheels. Now Envy have built quite the reputation for themselves over the years in crafting some of the fastest, lightest, and strongest wheels out there. And today I've got the Envy SES 5.6 wheels in both rim brake and disc brake options, which will be up for grabs later on in this video. For now, let's get unboxing. So the Envy SES 5.6 wheels are what Envy refer to as a medium depth wheel set and essentially an evolution of their proven SES 4.5s, making the 5.6s Envy's fastest all round road wheel set and pretty much putting themselves somewhere between the SES 3.4s which are a real climbing friendly set of wheels and the Super Aero SES 7.8s. But let's stop there because what are all these SES and 5.6 things that I keep referring to? So if you're not already familiar with Envy, let me just catch you up a little bit of a jargon buster here. So Envy wheels operates on principles of aerodynamics and shape. And that is what the company called their Smart Envy system or SES for sure. So that's the SES part of the name sorted. But what about these numbers? Now they're simply kind of the depth of the wheel. So the higher the number, the deeper the wheel. So if we take these wheels, for instance, the 5.6s, the front wheel got here is 54 mil in depth. And then the rear wheel here is 63 mil in depth. Hence the name 5.6. Whereas the SES 4.5s have a 48 mil depth on the front wheel and 56 mil depth on the rear wheel. So hopefully that all makes a little bit more sense now. So back to these wheels, and Envy claim that the 5.6s, which are these right here, are not only faster, but more stable in difficult and changing wind conditions compared to their shallower 4.5s, which sounds slightly counterintuitive. So how have they managed this? Well. Other than the front wheel obviously being shallower than the rear wheel, which you could say the 4.5s did exactly the same, they've also got slightly wider rim width on the front wheel. So we've got a 29 mil rim width on the front wheel here, as compared to a 28 mil rim width on the rear wheel here. Yeah. But its biggest update comes from its newest iteration and development of the SES rim profile, which also differs from front to rear. And the idea being, that the airflow is different from our front wheel to our rear wheel. So they've been individually designed to perform better in their given airflow fields. And whilst we're talking about airflow and aerodynamics, they've both been optimized for 25 mil tire widths to improve comfort and speed, and also come tubeless compatible so we can reduce our rolling resistance, improve our comfort, improve our grip, and hopefully fewer flats. And if you really want to shed a little bit of extra weight and go down the classic route, you can also go for the tubular option, which are slightly different wheels, but still the same rim profile and rim width. So what is the difference between these two wheel sets here? Because in this hand here, I've got the rim brake option, and in this hand here, I've got the disc brake option. Well, first of all, let's take a closer look at the rim brake option, because this features a unique directional textured carbon braking track, which is this nice knobbly surface here. And that is being designed to control and dissipate heat well, all whilst bring us to a stop nice and quickly. And if you are planning on doing any crazy alpine descents, where you're gonna be doing lots of excessive braking, then you will be pleased to know that they also feature a high temp resin system, which essentially means your rims aren't gonna deform because of heat buildup or anything like that, which did used to be a slight concern with wheels in years gone by. But how does the disc brake version differ? Well, actually, quite a lot surprisingly, and it would be easy to assume that it's more or less the same wheel, just with the option of installing disc brakes. But actually, these have really been designed and optimized for disc brake use, because by eliminating the braking track, it's really opened up a whole realm of aerodynamic and structural possibilities. Because by eliminating this design and 
engineering for the flat braking track that we saw on the previous set of wheels. It's actually allowed them to change the rim profile to improve its aerodynamics, and by not having to control the heat buildup that we got from braking, it's allowed them to shed some weight, and it's actually improved its tubeless performance. Now let's take a closer look at the hubs. And we've actually got a few options here also. Right here, we've got the DT Swiss 240 hubs, but you can also get the Chris King hubs, should you want to, and also the new NV Carbon hubs. Now, they all come with their own benefits and suit different preferences, but the idea behind the new NV Carbon hubs is not only to shed a bit of weight by using carbon for the hubs, but they've also listened to consumer feedback in that reliability is priority. So they've done away with ceramic bearings and they've replaced them with custom-made stainless steel bearings and races that not only perform well on day one, but continue to perform well, well into the future. Now, obviously with all those different options, disc brake, rim brake, all the different hub options, there are countless weights to talk through, but let's just make our lives a bit easier here and talk about the rim weight without the hub. So for the rim brake clincher, they come in at 1,002 grams, and for the rim brake tubular, they come in at 824 grams. And then for the disc brake clincher, they come in at 920 grams, and then for the disc brake tubular, they come in at 790 grams. And then finally, what do you get with these wheels? Well, they'll all be shipped out with a little bag like this. And then in here, we can find a set of nice Envy skewers, which are very smart. You might also get ah, the tubulous kit, which we've actually got already installed on this set of wheels here, which you can see the red tape in there. Uh, we also have a set of valve extenders and another pack there. And also, if you have got the rim brake option, you obviously get a set of carbon pads. And all of this is up for grabs. Yeah, well, at least one wheel set anyway. So to enter in for this, you want to head to the description below this video, click the link, and head on over to our giveaway page where you'll need to answer a question, and there we go. The only other thing you'll need to do is fight me for a set of these wheels because I like them a lot. Uh, if you like this video, then hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to GTN already, why not hit that globe and you'll be notified when we post our videos out. And if you'd like to see our NV disc wheel video, why not click down there? And if you'd like to see our clincher versus tubular video, click down there.